This is a SketchUp model. Hi hey guys, this is Mad about John from MJC Designs. Welcome to today's video tutorial. Today I'm going to quickly show you guys how you can easily add roof covering on a SketchUp model. If you're new here, kindly subscribe to our channel, turn on the notification button so you don't miss videos like this. Now, this model, like I said, is a SketchUp model. And something about SketchUp is when you import them, they act like object. As you can see, this is the model right there. It's acting like an object. Now let's close this. I have already done the roof. I'm going to remove this particular roof I did and do it all over again. I just shifted the card image and the Akikado I did before. I'm going to show you what it actually looked like when we imported it. If you don't know how to import any file, all you need to do is go to file, go to interoperability and you say merge. Okay, you, you can easily merge the file like so. And then you look for the file and merge it in. Okay, that was how we did this. Okay. And I'm going to quickly show you what this project looks like without the card image on it. Now, this is what it looks like as a SketchUp model that came in just like so. Right. You can see the roof and if you are going to use, if you are going to um, render this particular roof or render this particular project with this particular roof, there is chances that it won't look realistic because of how plain the roof is. Even if you apply a, uh, a roof texture to it and apply bump, it won't look like a proper, you know, like a proper card image roof covering. Now, you can see that we can't even delete anything with a single entity. It behaves like a single entity because it's an external file, especially it's a SketchUp file. And if we want to convert this to morph to delete this, there are chances that your computer is likely to hang for a very long time, especially if it is not so strong. Now, the best bet is to recreate this particular roof on this particular project. That is to overlap it on this particular project. Now, let's go back to the plan mode. Just press F2 on your keyboard and we click roof right here. Now, you are not so sure about the angle of this SketchUp roof. First, you can easily just go to the elevation and, you know, see do an elevation. Let's see the angle it has. Yeah, there you have it. So you're going to go to the elevation like so. You pick this and this and come back here, pick this and pick this and then you click here. Now you can see that this angle right here is 40. Now let's try 40 as the angle of this roof. Where is our roof? This is our roof and then we start tracing. Okay. And make sure this is activated and this complex roof is activated. There we go. At least we have a step we can see from the plan mode. As you can see, we have offset right here. And I'm going to go to the settings. Check the settings. We have 800 there. You just put it to zero. Okay. And then you see the pitch, which is the angle. We, we did 40, so let's put it to 40. Okay, and then the thickness of the roof, we are going to make it, make sure you select this, we are going to make it 15 or 25. 15. And then the surface of the roof, change it to something like this. This one. There we go. Now it's not showing, and uh, we are going to check why. As you are 3D. Okay, it's below, so we just bring it up like so. The angle of this roof, edge. I'm going to change it to this one. 
Okay. And that's fine. As you can see, because we used 40, you can see it's almost the same angle with the existing roof apart from this side. Okay? So we are going to edit this particular portion by selecting our roof. Okay? And we are going to split it. That's the only way we can edit. And having splitted it, you can see it is now acting like a grouped, um, grouped element. Okay? So in order to edit this particular one, all you need to do is ungroup and then raise this one. Select this particular one and raise it up. So like I said, the second option is the best option. Instead of changing it to converting it to morph and deleting the roof, just create it on it. I think that's the only editing you can do on this particular model because the model itself is an object and it's very difficult to edit it. Except there is a plugin that can help with it. I'm going to quickly, let me see if I can see this on my plan. Let's select. Okay. Move. So. Okay. Well, I think this one is not the same angle the way i'm seeing it it's not the same okay we're also going to correct this part but before then let's see what we have on our elevation especially this angle as you can see it looks a little bit higher let me shift it out i'll just click on do as you can see it looks very very high to this one and this one, let's see what this. You can see this is almost the same. You can see almost the same or if not the same as it there. So I'm going to click on do. I'm going to press on do and control Z. And this is not the same. This is quite high. That means this slope is a little different. So we are going to do the same to get the slope of that part. So you click this part, this one right here, go back here again and click this and then click this again. And now you can see this is 36 and that's why it's a little bit higher. So we're going to go back and undo. Okay, undo. Let me see if I've not pressed undo too much and uh, redo. Okay. So this is supposed to be 36, as you can see. So since, as you can see now it's showing, right? You can easily just say 36.5, so it will overlap it. So that's fine. Maybe we can say 0.3 and see what it does to it. And uh, let's see if we can, let's see two, let's see one. Okay, I think let's add five here. Uh, let's add nine here. Okay, now this is close to perfect height. You can see it. Now that's fine. Now let's go ahead and, you know, cover this part. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to create a node here. Okay. Create a node here. Or let's go to the easier, it's going to be easier on the, so let's take it, take this node and make it align. Okay, hold down your shift and, you know, click this point so it's aligned. Let's create a node, giving us where we can 
top it and then take this one okay now we can easily just adjust this push this now this is fine we have successfully replaced this um sketch up roof with an archicad roof now this is how we can easily place our card image on this roof so we can get a realistic roof when you render this particular file i'm going to select this roof right now and apply a card image to it click your card image right there and select roof covering the settings of my roof is already there so i'm not doing anything on card image I'm just going to say okay because the settings is there already. Okay. Settings is there already. So I'll just click okay. Okay, now so we have successfully placed a card image covering on a SketchUp file. As you can see, we don't even know if there was an existing roof on this particular project before. Now, if you go ahead and render this particular project, it would look really, really realistic. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next one. Feel free to like, subscribe, comment, and share to your friends so we can grow. Thank you so much.